be overworked. The work is very tedious. You don't have resting time. They hate you to challenge them. If you challenge them, they can even kill you. Every year, they know why you rise. Every year. The comeuppance of the transatlantic slave trade still holds sway in Ghana today, albeit in different forms. To explore the topic of human trafficking and modern slavery, we embarked on a research titled Hidden Histories of Slavery in Jamestown. This project investigated the possible links of historic slavery to modern-day slavery in Jamestown, Accra. The success of these project led to a flurry of subsequent projects flowing from the first. This documentary is thus to mark the culmination of the Hidden Histories project in a three-day workshop at the Jamestown Community Theatre Centre. I go by the name Josephine Bampo. I stay with my parents, Mr. Daniel and Matilda Quay. I live with my kid brother. I'm a Tosa Tosa Tosa. I'm a Tosa Tosa Tosa. And I, I, me, Mount Virgin, the boy table. Mento Magbany, son, if you know me, nature. I'm a survivor of modern day slavery. Drawing on the key findings and themes derived from the previous research and the larger anti slavery knowledge network project findings, this project seeks to address three main areas. One, to empower survivors through skills development and involvement in project design. Two, to break the taboo of modern slavery at a community level by facilitating direct dialogue between survivors and community stakeholders to effect change. And three, to utilize performance methodologies to engender change. Okay, thank you very much. You can now have your seats. So like we all know, uh, we have very important uh, personalities because all of you are important. But there are some few people that I would like you to uh, acknowledge. We On the first day, the group was facilitated to identify their needs, experiences, expectations, and skills gap. Uh, I've been on this project before, and I know what it entails. So probably I'm expecting more knowledge on, uh, to build more knowledge on the AKN projects uh, compared to the previous ones. At the end of everything i just expect to know more about the topic and also uh, get to know the different perspective and different sides that um you, one can approach in the case slavery whether in the slavery she mean time when we are call more this slavery we feel when like slavery whether more the allows the word is slavery mean time no we want at all more this slavery my expectation at the end of this three days workshop is to 
have a critical look at the modern slavery, especially in Jamestown community, and also with the survivors, what is really happening to them, what is being done for them, and also if um, AKN can do more, especially sensitizing Jamestown community or stakeholders here, sensitizing them for them to be aware. It's to be enlightened more about the modern slavery and the way forward. What is next after this project? Um, the circumstances that led to my travel was I just want to have a feel of another place, like how to experience new life, new surroundings. Hi everybody um, and welcome to this skills sharing event, uh, Practicing Freedom at the Jamestown Community Theatre Centre. So I am Principal Investigator on this project. Uh, before I start, I should thank um, uh, Collins uh, Sema-Smith and Ni Kwatalakwate for their continued brilliance, uh, dedication and professionalism. We really wouldn't have been able to host this event um, without their uh, incredible flexibility in terms of their work. So thank you guys. After my training school, it was the training school was between 2008-2009. So afterwards I took part in 2010 National Youth Employment. After then, we had to come back because of change of government. So I was at home doing nothing and my uncle introduced me to his friend, his, his friend who is a an agent. I went to Saudi Arabia. During my stay there, what I was told wasn't quite exactly what I experienced there. Because they would have told you if you are, you are there to perform this duty. But immediately you go there, it's, me, it's not the same. For me, I was told from here it was a teaching job. Then later, when I was there for some days, they told me I have to go for a cleaning job. Then later, they changed it again to what? House chores. So immediately they changed it to an house chores. I became very annoyed. But I told myself that I've already gotten here, so I have to face the tax. I was picked up by a colleague agent from Kuwait to a resident. Then from there, my madam picked me out at the office. So after then I was there, I met an African, a colleague African who, is, who was from Cameroon. Mm. So just when I got there, she was happy because she had wanted to run away from the house. The work was too much for her. But because she mm. saw me, I told her, oh, come on, we are all Africans. Let's try and help ourselves and work. We came here to work. We didn't come here to do anything. So. If the kind of work you came to do is what you are doing, let's come together and work. But as time goes on, I realized that the work was so much for even the both of us that we planned to escape. Igbana, wa arrange. She ekule imo chi mi neyo. Mi iyo akhe mi neke owa njo boko kambi e bofo wa njo fi mi ma wobu ma fi no fi no abu. Tomo boko kashi ne boni a njo fi. Ana accident boko yicho iche ne o njo fi njo fi ma fi. Eni ti eje tomo nuko ni ashe ya gana ne no je nuko na ashe. Tomo a chuni ni a boko na fi neke. Every year, they don't buy rice. Every year, they don't buy rice. Rice don't buy every year. Charlie, you go learn chicken. Eat chop. No one learn chicken. Chicken chop. One never learn chicken. If you, you share more, sister. I share. Gloria. The second day saw the survivor experts teamed up with the facilitators to devise, develop, and rehearse an original performance piece. With our sculpture, we are going to see, make a sculpture 
of the oppressed and the oppressor. One of you is going to be the oppressed. It can be anything. It can be within the home setting. It can be at work. It can be in the relationship. It can be at church. It can be everywhere. So you have to decide. Observations? Rashida. Okay. It's like they are both in a relationship and the guy wants to base the girl or she has done something and he's trying to beat her. Imagine you being in the cold weather. In January, the weather is very cold there. That's their winter. The winter is between November, December, and January. So imagine you wearing torn dresses, washing cars in the cold. How are you going to cope with it? With no food. If you have to eat it, after you preparing the food, she will just take all the food, leave maybe the chicken wings, the edge of the wings, and the omoshishi for you to um, take care of yourself. Anyhow you do it, she doesn't care. Before you leave Ghana, you know the contract is two years. Before you leave, you know it's two years. But what we do there is what we don't know. For her, you see, she, she was telling that she saw the, the papers there. But for me, I did not even see it. I didn't sign anything before even I left. The only thing I signed was the processing we did when I went to get your visa and those things. But aside that, I didn't sign anything. They hate you to challenge them. If you challenge them, they can even kill you. We have something we call keys. When if any of you look at our market, you have a shoe, not about a ball, I'm here. Your family will be just be looking for you almost several years, though, not even see you. You know, she one day, mommy, Jenny, and papa, and Basha, and a man called Jenny, can I go? A beach, my lady, a cow. school <laughs> Or three days, seven, and ten, yes, you are getting more by my school, you are in my body, my school. Three days, I know you shall know what they fishing. Fishing and I are tea and wim. Yan, what you saw, nette, and you are la. They go over three days, no, no, Tinaka. Oh, you are not going to see me. You are not going to see me. I can't go. I can't go. Just like where you show you, she is not going to see me. I don't know how to see me. I don't know how to see me. I don't know how to see me. First cut. On the third day, led by the survivor experts, the group took the original performance piece from the workshop space onto the Jamestown community. It was an exciting day that created a platform for sharing. I would like to tax the stakeholders. Especially the international leaders and the politicians and the community leaders to form a task force to educate every parent 
about this issue, about, about the uh, uh, modest living issues. And people have turned themselves into agents. They said, I learned that. And they come to you, they lie to you. That they want to you help your child. But no, 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 it's a slavery that they are going to use the child for. Hey, Ashley, what have you been doing? Got me some water. Hurry, hurry up. Ashley, come back. Take my bag. Get me water. Ashley, come back. Pick up the broom. What have you been doing since morning? Where is my water? Get me water. Ashley, come back here. Sweet. Hurry up, hurry up. Ashley, where is my water? Go get me water. Ashley! Ashley! For me, I would rather let the advice go to the victims or the younger girls who are being, you know, trafficked because if they know they are right, if they know that this is slavery, then we will be able to keep this. So I would rather advise or create the awareness more to the victims than to the authorities because they are not doing anything about it. But if the girls or whoever is being trafficked or whoever is being exploited knows that no, this is wrong, then my work is done. I'm very tired. I came in baby, I came out of school way. Sinye fenye na, ani chaba wako ya mokoshia. Mi be, mi funyai, etom. It was school bane. Ashley. Okay, I'm Rashida Bashiru, and I'm representing Manfrobi Senior High. People who usually go through modern slavery um, encounter with depression, which is something like a mental illness, and they are unable to communicate or cope with other people in the community because of what they've been through. My name is Bernard Yao Agufa, a student of the University of Ghana reading political science and philosophy. Most Ghanaians, let me say thousands of Ghanaians, are in school law and then are undertaking forced labor. Survivor Aspect did not just facilitate the community event, but invited responses and strategies for combating modern slavery from the audience. This created the opportunity to discuss the projects more broadly with the community and thus created awareness of the issue and the work of the anti-slavery knowledge network. Hey. <laughs> If you know you are not familiar or you are not good at staying with people, don't 
go. And you need to ask more questions before you are convinced to move to the place. That is the kind of message I have for the youth. I'll just advise them that there is joy in what's traveling, but you should ask and know more before you embark on the journey. I take the ball. I, the ball. I, catch, the ball. I catch the ball. Oh, I grab the ball. I the ball. Oh, I squeeze the ball. I the ball. Oh, I put it there. I believe you. 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 No, me done you are a kemin bipo. No kebo in Bia by Yung when I forget more. Get thank you and get back with that's all. Malib. That can be a minute but much more pa alone in a bean in the ocean. Make a wet or home coming by we ni care lay no near me shani mo bani ba kele no kwe. Boni if I be had any it take me in a hand in your most eight she kick it.